welcome to the farm. Thank you for joining me here at Country Mama Musings. You know, recently I was speaking with a friend of mine about putting this channel up, and we were discussing some things that she enjoys watching, and she says, I love grocery hauls. And I said, you know, I just got back from a field trip with my neighbor friend, Karen, and we went to a local Amish community and we spent the day together hitting all of the little Amish shops and so I've got everything here that I got on that journey, and I thought I would share it with you today. So if you like grocery hauls, stay tuned. So I really enjoyed my day with my friend down at our local Amish community. It was only a couple of hours away, so it was a really nice day driving through the countryside. And you just take a step back in time when you go into the Amish community. Everybody's friendly and lovely, and you just, it's relaxed there. And so we went to three or four different little stores, and this is just a portion of what I brought back. Some of it um, is in the pantry, and I didn't really think you'd be interested in some of the more um, commercial things that you would normally get. So I'm going to start right here, because this has kind of become a joke here in the household. I bought this jar to do my water glassing for my eggs, and then I found another jar I like better, so I have this jar. And I had it about filled up to about here with some saltwater taffy that I got at one of the Amish stores in their candy aisle. And as you can see, I've got some culprits here that have been hitting the saltwater taffy, but that's okay. That's what I bought it for. I bought it so that when I have family stop by, they've got a little treat. But I'm going to have to get some more next time I go. I'm going to have to fill this up better. All kinds of unique flavors like banana split, key lime pie, um, apple, pina colada. Lots of fun little flavors in here. So that was one of the first things I got. I mean, really, it was literally one of the first things I put in my basket. So um, another thing that I thought was really great, and I'm going to be using it a lot, is if, you, if you've been following me on Facebook, you know that I like to do meals in a jar. So I found these dehydrated cubed potatoes. Now, they were in a bag, but I've since put them in my half-gallon mason jars. And I will be able to make a lot of meals in a jar with these potatoes. I filled up two whole jars here, so that's a whole gallon of dehydrated potatoes. I would venture to say, gosh, I'm going to get 30, 40, 50 meals out of that with my dehydrated meals. And speaking of the dehydrated meals, where is it? Here it is. I picked up these craisins. I got a whole container of craisins for a lot less expensive than I would have gotten at the store. And they're about half gone, because what I did with these is I put together my meal in a jar. It is chicken and stuffing. And so right here, there's a layer of craisins. So that's what I picked those up for. And I brought just a couple out for the video, but I think I made about a dozen of these. And one thing you can't really tell by this jar, but if you look real close, there's a little packet of gravy up in here that you take out, make the gravy first, then make the meal. And I was very happy to find big, huge bags of gravy mix that don't have any sausage or sausage flavoring because I just like the peppered gravy. So I bought two of these, and I've used a whole one making those meals. So that was fun. I have a half gallon jar that I filled up here of tiny little bow tie pasta. And as we were walking down the aisles, my friend Karen said, ooh, wouldn't those be fun for making your little meals? You could do like a little lasagna meal. In the basket it went. And because I couldn't just get the little ones, I got a big bag of some bigger noodles. So these noodles, the whole thing was only $4.58. For all these noodles, they're going to make a lot of meals. I really like these. This here, I still have some of this in the bag. This is a seven grain cereal that my friend recommended. So I put some into a jar to seal up and then next I'm gonna use some of the craisins and I've got some raisins and I've got some almonds, some of my spices here. I'm gonna make some granola out of this. So I think I'll be doing a future video making some granola out of this beautiful seven grain cereal. Uh, she said she likes to put it in the crock pot overnight and when she wakes up in the morning, she has a beautiful, beautiful breakfast. I might try that too. Move those out of the way. Uh, one thing I've already processed is we were able to get 
big bags of Tidbit pineapple in juice. So as soon as I got home, I cut those bags open, popped them into the dehydrator, and for under $5, I believe $5, $5.50, I have a half gallon of dehydrated pineapple. They're still sticky, but they're dehydrated. They've been conditioned. I don't have to worry about them molding. But I got a whole bunch of pineapple that I can rehydrate at any time to make cakes, uh, make desserts, whatever I want. And I had all that pineapple juice when I opened the bags. And so what I did with that is I had some leftover ginger water from when I candied some ginger. So I made about seven or eight pint jars of pineapple ginger simple syrup. So this summer, when we go outside and work on the farm and it's hot and we need a nice refreshing drink, I can add some of this to some 7-Up or some seltzer water, club soda, whatever we want, and we'll have a lovely refreshing drink outside. I also picked up a bottle of molasses for a very reasonable price, $2.50 for this bottle of molasses. Um, I'm going to be making my own brown sugar in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that, and I was glad that I was just able to get it right there at the Amish community. Okay. This jar here, I have just a little bit left in the bag. The whole bag wouldn't fit, but it was only like $2, split yellow peas. I'll be using this in some of my upcoming meals in a jar. This makes beautiful dalbat. Dalbat is the Nepalese official meal. They eat it every day. There's different ways to make it. And one thing that you can put in it are these split yellow peas. So I was so happy to find these, just a couple bucks. This find here, oh my gosh, do you see this? This is a number 10 can of cherry pie filling. I got two of them. I'm gonna be able to make a lot of little desserts during the holidays with these. I've got one coming up. I'll be sure to put the link to the video down in the description below once I make that video. But $8, you know, when you go to the store, it's usually like three, four, five dollars for just a little can of cherry pie filling. $8, I got two of them, they're huge. Okay, I was able to get Amish butter. Look at this big, beautiful block of Amish butter, $2.75. It's the only one I have left in the fridge because I've already processed quite a bit of it, and I made my own ghee. So if you don't know what ghee is, ghee is clarified butter. If you ever go to a fancy, fancy restaurant, they'll charge you much more for your meal because it has clarified butter in it. I did this myself. I will do a future video coming up showing you how to make the clarified butter. This is basically just all the butter fat. It has removed the whey in the milk solids and any impurities. And this is shelf stable. I can keep this in my pantry for several years and I don't have to worry about refrigerating my butter. So that's why I bought all of this beautiful Amish butter. I will definitely be going back for a repeat visit just to get the butter. So good. Okay, kids, you're moving over here. Okay. While I was at the first store, I found all of these lovely ingredients. Let me pull them all together here. Who loves Gardettos? Am I allowed to say that? Who loves that really fun snack mix that starts with a G that everybody pulls all the little dried pieces out of? I do. I love it. I don't know if I'm allowed to say their name on here. So I'm just going to call it the little snack mix that starts with a G. I found all of these lovely components to build my own and mix it up. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Fiesta or homemade ranch seasoning in it. Mix it all up. Bake it. My husband will have some treats to snack on. So I have these garlic bagel chips that I picked up. Some butter braided pretzels. A bag of everything sesame. I can't read what it says. This? A bag of everything sesame bits. Those will go in there. I have the rye bagel chips that will go in. And some Spanish peanuts. So I got all of this just to make a snack for my husband. I'm really excited. Maybe I'll make a video showing how I'm going to come up with that. I don't know that I've ever made anything but check mix. So we'll... Ooh, am I allowed to say checks? I don't know. Um, we'll see, won't we? So I have all of these to make a snack for him. Cinnamon sticks. We'll get to the spices and everything now. Cinnamon sticks. A whole bag of cinnamon sticks for under $5. I've already used some of these in some of my baking, um, in some of my canning, actually. I used these cinnamon sticks when I made my, uh, my Christmas jam. So that was a really good deal. And then, 
you know, I always need bay leaves. I was so thrilled. I've already taken some out. I've already used some. $2.19 for this big, huge container of bay leaves. Can you believe that? My goodness. So I have all of these seasonings here that I was able to pick up at the Amish stores. And I'm trying to keep everything current because I do want to protect their identity. So I was able to get all of these seasonings. And what a fun, what a fun aisle to go down is the seasoning aisle at the Amish store. I wanted to share an uh-oh moment with you. The other day I used up the last of my ground cloves. And I wanted to make more Christmas jam and I knew I needed ground cloves. So I ran into the store and they were all out of ground cloves except for one bottle. They had one bottle left of a brand name of ground cloves. So I bought it, $4.29. Got home and I remembered everything I picked up at my Amish trip. Look at this, this whole container, which is probably at least three of these, $1.35 for all of these ground cloves. I haven't opened this yet. I don't know if they'll let me take it back, but I'm gonna try. So I got ground cloves. I got garlic powder, $1.80 for this little thing. Ground allspice, look at all that ground allspice, $1.95. I got chives. More chives because we went to more than one store. And what's silly is when you go to the stores, they're not really priced equally. I paid $3.15 for these and $2.60 for these. So now I know which store to go to to get the better prices on my herbs and my spices. Chili powder, look at this deep, rich colored chili powder. But then they had this chili powder and I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I got both. And so I'll be using these in some of my meals in a jar. I actually used some of this one to make some of my Fiesta mix. Do a video on that one too, and I'll, I'll share the link to that one, because that's some yummy stuff. Ground sage. Mustard seeds. I'm gonna be using these mustard seeds the next canning season to make my relish and my bread and butter pickles. Yum. All of that for $2.95. You can't go wrong. Herbs de Provence. Now I've come across a couple of recipes that have called for Herbs de Provence. I don't know what it is. I just know it's a bunch of herbs, very aromatic. You put them all together, you throw them in a recipe. It's supposed to be the best thing in the world. We bought, again, another little one the other day at the store for over $4. Then I went to the Amish store, this entire thing. $2.35. Get out of town. Pickling spice, just for fun. I bought this one because when I looked at the label for it, let me try to cover it. When I looked at the label, it looked like a little kid had done the labeling, and I just thought it was cute. So I got it for $1.70. So I bought all these pickling spices home just because I thought of some little Amish kid writing the labels out, helping their family out at the store. And then I got some good ground cinnamon. So those are all my herbs. I passed these by at first, and then my friend Karen said, these would be really good in a, a, a cinnamon loaf or some friendship bread. And I thought, Karen, you're absolutely right. So I picked one up and I put it in my bag. Um, this is cinnamon drops. So these are like little tiny little mini like chocolate chips, but they're cinnamon chips. And I'm gonna make some cinnamon bread and pop these in here wait to make these. I might save some of my Amish butter and slather some Amish butter on that bread when I'm done. That sounds good. I got an entire sleeve of regular sized cannabinoids for a very good price. I put those in my cart and brought those home. So now I know if I need to do any more canning in the regular size jars that I have, I've got plenty of lids. So I want to thank my friend Karen for taking me for a day shopping down in our local Amish community. Really had a great time. If you enjoy seeing grocery hauls, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Take care.